and welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Now, right off the bat... <laughs> I think, I think, I think right, right off the bean here, we got to get to the big presidential story uh, that broke at the end of last week. Pretty dramatic stuff. The president, the president, on camera, shocking the nation. Hey, the first presidential kiss cam. President Carter and Rosalind, can we get a kiss cam? No, 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 wave, a kiss. Yeah. Yeah! Oh, yeah. We're going viral. That's nice. That's nice. That's really heartwarming, you know, yeah. to see that. Yes. It's really incredible to see on camera, you know, uh, the 96-year-old president and his wife uh, being uh, pushed into sh public displays of affection <laughs> by a screaming man with a PA system, you know? <laughs> Just gets you right there. We need stories like that. We need all the smile file stories we can get right now. Because, you know, mark your calendars. We're in day four of Trump's national emergency. <laughs> we are in what future historians will call crisis on the southern border. Press one for English. Press two for murder. <laughs> as, you, as you recall, this emergency started right after Trump did not get funding for his border wall from Mexico, then we had a midterm election where people didn't want the border wall, then the new Congress wouldn't give him money for the thing the voters didn't want, so he shut down the government to get the money for the thing that no one was asking for. <laughs> Everyone was mad at him, so he declared victory and emergency at the same time. <laughs> and told us all about it on Friday in the Rose Garden doing a strange and incoherent appearance. <laughs> it was clear from the very beginning that the true emergency was taking place in his skull up here. <laughs> And the old, uh, the bone box. <laughs> Baby Jane. Imagine your grandpa wandering out into the garden to yell at the trees about Mexicans. That's sort of... <laughs> that's what it felt like, okay? He talked about so many things that weren't the thing he was talking about. Uh, he talked about trade with China, immigrant caravans, Brexit, executing drug dealers. He talked about the troops, how our economy can beat up any other economy, how he's taller than any other president except Lincoln, and a lot of people are saying Lincoln wasn't really that tall, it was mostly hat. How <laughs> Rush Limbaugh can speak for three hours straight, how beautiful the chairs in the Oval Office are, how he should cancel the Mueller investigation and use that money for factories that, quote, make good pants. <laughs> I only made a couple of those up. <laughs> and you don't know which ones. <laughs> now, that's the idea. That's the that gives you the uh, that gives you the idea. It's the whole situation. The general idea of what it was like. After five minutes of clumsy crisis foreplay, <laughs> he ambled up to the idea of an emergency. We're going to be signing today and registering national emergency and wake up wake up <laughs> what are you get me some smelling salts he's out again he's out oh he's back i'm sorry i'm sorry mr president you were in the middle of telling us we're all gonna die <laughs> come on man you gotta sell it all you have to do is tell us that you had no other option to save our nation. Just tell us that you needed to do this. I didn't need to do this, but I'd rather do it much faster. No! <laughs> you don't say that out loud. Hello, 911. I would like to call an Uber, but that would take too long. Please. Please send an ambulance. I want to go to the movies. No, 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 of course I'm dying. I am dying to see the Lego movie, too. So, I like, it's funny, because they're plastic. There's already a wave of lawsuits challenging this declaration of emergency, including one from a public advocacy group representing three landowners in South Texas and the Frontera Audubon Society. Audubon, you do not want the birders mad at you, okay? <laughs> Trump knows the birds have always had it out for him. <laughs> but, <laughs> but Trump's, Trump's ready for the legal challenges. In fact, he has a plan, and it goes a little something like this. We will have a national emergency, 
and we will then be sued, and they will sue us in the Ninth Circuit, uh, even though it shouldn't be there. And we will possibly get a bad ruling, and then we'll get another bad ruling, and then we'll end up in the Supreme Court, and hopefully we'll get a fair shake, and we'll win in the Supreme Court, just like the ban. They sued us in the Ninth Circuit, and we lost, and then we lost in the appellate division, and then we went to the Supreme Court, and we won. A little sing-song, don't you think? <laughs> I can't tell. I can't tell if he was answering a question or reading his Torah portion. Jacob Hirschman. Was, that's good. <laughs> da, 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 da. What is he singing? What is it? Just, eh? B flat. B flat. B flat. Yeah. yeah. Every time. Every time. He nailed in that B flat. Yeah. <laughs> you got to give him up for that. Yeah. You got to give him up for that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it could also be a glimpse of how Trump's going to frame the rest of his time in office. And then Mueller's going to release his report. Then Congress will start impeachment proceedings. <laughs> then I'll suddenly resign to get the heat off. Oh. Then I'll be indicted by oh. the Southern District of New York oh. for years of committing financial fraud. Oh. Then I'll make Lindsey Graham hide me in the trunk of his Nissan. Oh. Then I'll try to fly to Moscow on my private jet, oh. but the pilot won't oh. want to be an accomplice. So I'll try to fly the plane myself, oh. but I'll hit too many buttons and plow it into a nearby 7-Eleven. Oh. Then I'll be embarrassing photos of me trying to salvage hot dogs from the rubble. He also... It's gonna stop eventually. Am I there? Yeah, 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 that's right, isn't it? Come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I have a terrible mm. Trump impression, but perfect pitch. Oh, yeah, uh, perfect pitch. He also talked about North Korean dictator and all the members of the Adams family combined. <laughs> Kim Jong-un, he explained just how far relations with North Korea have come. When I came into office, I met right there in the Oval Office with President Obama. And I said, what's the biggest problem? He said, by far, North Korea. And I don't want to speak for him, but I believe he would have gone to war with North Korea. I think he was ready to go to war. In fact, he told me he was so close to starting a big war with North Korea. I don't want to speak for Obama, but he said he wanted to start a thermonuclear war, ending all life on Earth. Then he cackled knowingly and rubbed his hands like this. And again, I don't want to speak for him, but he said, I'm a secret Kenyan. I make all the crop circles, and I'm the one who cut off John Bobbitt's penis. That's me. I don't want to, and I don't want to. I, I, and look, I. I, I... <laughs> then Trump made a startling announcement. Prime Minister Abe of Japan gave me the most beautiful copy of a letter that he sent to the people who give out a thing called the Nobel Prize. He said, I have nominated you, or respectfully, on behalf of Japan, I am asking them to give you the Nobel Peace Prize. You're there to announce a national emergency, <laughs> not talk about awards you're never gonna get. You didn't, <laughs> you didn't see Bush after 9-11 get on that bullhorn and say, I want you to know I am up for a J.D. Power and Associates Award <laughs> for initial customer satisfaction. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Those aren't easy to get. Thank you, John. Yeah. Yeah. Right after the press conference announcing the national emergency, Trump took action. He flew to Mar-a-Lago and golfed both weekend days, including six hours on Saturday. What a heroic response. It reminds me of Churchill's famous words to his nation. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight them on the seventh fairway because I have an 11 o'clock tea time. Hitler can wait. Four? No, while he was, yeah, Churchill. Yeah. Churchillian. Churchillian.